room gives me anxiety. It looks like the living room of an old lady in a horror movie. Well, that's probably because it is. This apartment has been empty for quite a long time. It's still in some kind of a renovation process. And meanwhile, I'm allowed to use this room. I was told that eventually some people would come here to pick up the furniture. And as you can see, they did not. But that's not my business and it doesn't matter to me. I had my whole setup here in the past six months and now it's become a dining table again but why i already put that in the title because i am moving surprise <laughs> and before i leave i'm gonna give you a final room tour to show you all the struggles and benefits of this workspace The door is pretty loud. Once you come in here, it's a pretty but kind of dark hallway. This is where I hung my coat and got scared of my own reflection. Next up, we have a pretty spacious kitchen. I had a microwave here and that was it. I didn't need most of it. Next up, let me take you to a really important place. The only really big downside of my new place is that it doesn't have a toilet. I'm gonna miss you. Let's move on. So next up is a really long hallway that gets progressively more scary the deeper you go. Most of these rooms are just for storage, except for this one. Come here. This room has definitely not been touched since the 80s, but I used that opportunity and used it as a set. The lighting is pretty terrible. <laughs> I mean, I just could have bought studio lights, but I didn't. <laughs> so the lighting could have not been an issue. Even though I had a whole lot of space, there are some issues working in this place, including temperature. This room does have two radiators, but they're not doing shit. I even bought a heater. No chance. No chance. I was freezing most of the time. Second of all, again, it's too big. I don't need that much space. And it does get pretty scary when it's nighttime, especially if someone rings the doorbell. Imagine, 7 p.m. You're editing a video, dark hallway, dark rooms, and someone rings the doorbell. I get a heart attack every time. It's broken and no one ever fixed it. And last but not least, of course, this is not my space. I'm just basically a visitor. I'm really grateful towards the owner for letting me use this, basically this entire apartment. But of course, this background is not really it. And and yeah, from time to time people come in here. Even though I feel really spoiled using this room, I'm not unhappy that I'm gonna move out. Because even though the new place is tinier, it's gonna be my real art studio, which I'm gonna customize, of course. So let's go to my new place. Hello, I haven't really started decorating or anything. We have a little shelf here. I have a table that no one needs and a cutting mat. Oh, and yeah, this is my violin. This is not a toilet. It's the storage room as well as the kitchen. Since this place doesn't have a connection to water, I have a portable sink here. Additionally, there's a tiny fridge, a microwave, and a kettle. And I want to show you my improvised shelf. This is my creation. This corner is just full of storage stuff. What's in the closet? Maybe I'm gonna find some of you, who knows? There's two items, pillows and packaging material. The main recording area is gonna be there. And what do we have here? Finally, you guys don't have to worry about bad lighting anymore. I have light now. And of course, my dear friend who's falling apart like always. This is just empty, but I wanna paint the wall and then put a table in front. I just can't decide on a color. I want a dark green, but I can't really decide. And now, my workspace. I just love it. It's tiny compared to the other one. And now if you're concerned because not going to the toilet for eight to 10 hours a day is not healthy, which it isn't, you don't have to be. This room is on top of my grandma's apartment and I can use the toilet every time I want. working for me for free yeah i'm a servant <laughs> my servant no 
Das kannst du auf YouTube immer noch nicht sagen. <lacht> Was soll ich denn ansonsten sagen? Irgendwas Kinderfreundliches. Bacon. Bacon? Soll ich dann immer Bacon sagen oder was? Ja! Das ist, so das ist besser als <lacht> We're gonna do a really cheap transition now. <lacht> Hello! Aren't you beautiful? That looks low-key, very cursed. <lacht> yeah, give it to me! I need your muscles. You need my muscles? Oh, it smells like this. <laughs> is a chemical. <laughs> oh my god, watch out. No. Okay. Score. Okay, okay, okay. Oh no, you have paint on your leg. Oh no. Yeah. She's gonna give us a tutorial. Yeah. Wait a minute. You go into the paint, roll it off, and right. then you have like a moss, mossy color. If you happen to use green, yeah, like we, we do. We all use green. It's okay, we all use green. And then you're gonna paint your wall. You're welcome. Yeah, just start painting. Wait, wait, I have to capture it. You're doing great. Oh my god. Now it's it's spraying on your fingers. It looks like a molding. Beautiful. Yeah. Like molding bread. We're Germans. We basically are bread. We are bread. We have bread at home. We I know. It's so good. Oh my god. I want to run. <laughs> I've always wanted to do that. Now I want to do it too. I'm <laughs> green is that actually something you say in English? Like, I have a green thumb? Or is that a German thing? Yeah. Bro. Yeah. 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 You look like a person. Zwerg. Dwarf. <laughs> dwarf? Zwerg has dwarf? Yeah. That doesn't sound right. Compare it like dwarf and zwerg. <laughs> she can confirm that my knees are just broken. You're just old. That's why your knees aren't working. I was born old. Yeah, you were born as an old soul. Do you know what an old soul is? Your grandma. <laughs> Look, you can. Oh, that's art. Yeah. I want to draw you. <gasps> I want to punch you. I want to draw you. Oh, that's cute. Oh, oh, that's actually kind of cute. Okay, that's thanks very much. I forgot your nose. That's basically no nose. Yeah, because you're Voldemort. That's my secret, everyone. You are Voldemort. Harry Potter is there. Yeah. Yeah. Harry Potter is there. I need to drink. Yeah, drink, drink, you hydrate. Also. You also have to drink right now. Hydrate. Drink. Now. I want to draw your son. That looks so cursed. Wait, I'm gonna show you. <laughs> He's green now. He's not a ginger anymore. I'm gonna do the bottom. <laughs> oh, you're doing a wonderful job. I know. Oh my god, it got through. If you put pressure on it, it's gonna... You want a biscuit? Yeah, then eat a biscuit. Where is the biscuit? In my bag. Henry. Here are your biscuits, my child. I'm gonna put up my hood again, because that looks sexy. You do it. No, we have a ladder. Yeah, I should use it. And you're not gonna go on it. It's not the first time I've stood on a ladder. Yeah, it's not the first time you've fallen from a ladder either. <laughs> It's gonna take a while. <laughs> Let's finish this. We're finished and we look normal. Okay. Okay. Did you just imitate me? No. Ooh, it's coming up smooth. Watch out for Holzsplitter. Oh, yeah, you can satisfying. do it. Yeah, it's really satisfying. <laughs> oh, oh my god. Yay. Oh my god. No. This is my suit. You can see. Dirty. Yours is sturdy too. Not as sturdy as this, but yeah. come here. Yeah. The wall's still kind of patchy, but it's still drying, so it's okay. And it's gonna look awesome. No, no. My little sister is gonna. Uh, I'm gonna disappear. <laughs> disappear out of thin air now, because. <laughs> no, my no, little sister. Thank you for being here. It was of really course. nice having unpaid workers. It was fun. Now, yes. to the next day. Good morning, everyone. I have a sofa now. It's adorable, isn't it? My set is not entirely finished, but I have to set it up now. I 
I know it doesn't look finished yet and I probably have to readjust the light better. Oh. I also have a softbox shield. That looks better. My shadows are now softer. For the background I bought stuff like this. I just don't have a screwdriver here. That's why I'm not gonna do it today. Woo. It's been a week and today I, or more like we, are gonna attach the panels. So first of all in the center we have one for tools and then left and right <gasps> oh that's dangerous <laughs> there are gonna be pin boards now the only thing left is figuring out the height i just have to experiment a bit change of plans <laughs> as you can see the table is way too low and i literally have to bend over <laughs> to work and it's also not good for filming because the camera is either tilted down at the table or at the wall so you either cut off the table or my head and the entire background i'm gonna pack this up again and we're gonna order some fancy table legs Ooh. i don't know if you can hear it on the camera but i definitely sound more crisp these bad boys are sucking in a whole lot of sound and we also have one here a pillow here and this is my couch i need another solution because i need my couch but apart from that it sounds amazing listen to me and the legs arrived they're adjustable just like the ones from my work table and let me tell you one thing buying four totally normal table legs this height would have cost just as much as buying readjustable ones and with that my studio is finished. Of course, I'm gonna add decorations here. It's not gonna stay blank, don't worry. I'm just gonna show you the final result without cleaning up right now, because that's just how my workspace looks on a normal day. That's it. Thank you so much for watching. And have a nice day, evening or night. See you next time. Bye! Right. <laughs> that was close.